Meanwhile, reigning Olympic bronze medalist Megan Tapper says she was disappointed after missing out on a place in the final of the women's sprint hurdles on Sunday's final day of the World Championships. Here once again is Jordan Ford. Megan Tapper's 12.52 seconds personal best at the World Athletics Championships here in Eugene is 0.3 seconds faster than the time which landed her bronze at the Olympic Games in Tokyo last year. But such was the quality of the field that the 28-year-old didn't make the final of the event despite her best ever performance. She now has to quickly turn her attention to the Commonwealth Games in Birmingham, England, which begin in three days' time. As I said, definitely needed more. Um, but it is what it is. And we move forward. We have the Commonwealth Games. Fire on my bottom. And we want something special there. Tapa said, as given where she was a few weeks ago, she reflects positively on her World Championships experience, despite missing Sunday's final. Yeah, I mean, as I said before, coming into these championships, I could hardly train. I could hardly. I had two knee braces on. Not an excuse, but, you know, to get from there in two weeks, to run a personal base here, which was really, 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 really grateful and happy that I could show up and show up with my best. Natoya Ghoul, who ran her fastest time of the season, says this was a test of a new strategy she has been working on for the 800 meters. Ghoul ran a minute 57.90 seconds to be fifth in Sunday's final. Yes, I definitely am because I know I'm strong enough to come from behind. Unfortunately, today was not that day, but it's been working and it's something that I think that I will continue to do. For the final time, from Hayward Field here in Eugene, Oregon, site of the 2022 World Athletics Championships. I'm Jordan Fort for TVJ Sports.